I have this 2013 BMW X3 and the customer was told that they needed a front wheel bearing replaced due to a, uh, a groaning noise while driving. When it got dropped off, I quickly went for a test drive up and down the street and I can right off the bat tell that it was not in the front as far as the noise, but yes, it was a wheel bearing type noise. So what I'm going to do is connect the scope with the uh, microphones to try to identify which one of the two rears the noise is coming from and see if we could capture that on the waveform. As far as my connection points, I'm choosing the same point on both sides. As you can see, got the uh, clamp on the, looks like the caliper bracket bolt that's on the knuckle assembly that's going to pick up the noise. So both sides are set up the same. Obviously, you want to secure your leads, make sure they're out of the way. And then just simply brought inside, connected to the scope, and then we will take a test drive. Now that we are set up, we will just simply go for a test drive, and you're going to want to look to see which channel is going to create a bigger uh, amplitude, which in turn is going to be the faulty wheel bearing that's making the noise that we can audibly hear, but now we're going to visually see it on the screen. Um, so as far as the channels, blue I've got on the driver's side rear, red is going to be on the passenger side rear. And with that setup, it'll just let us see which one of the two is making the noise. And with that, we will be able to replace the correct one. So I will go ahead and drive pretty uh, straight at decent speed. I'm at 45 miles an hour, steady, and right off the bat, the passenger side is way, way, way louder, more amplitude. So again, we'll do one more uh, straight ahead drive at a steady speed. Sixty miles an hour. And coming down to a stop. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, after making all your hookups and, and driving, getting the the component you're testing to make noise. Uh, that's simply all you do is look for the higher amplitude. As you can clearly see, it's visually easier now to be able to tell and identify the correct component. So with that being said, we're now able to go ahead and we will go forward with replacing the right rear wheel bearing and get this customer going. Not too in depth, but just kind of cool to uh, show and display what you can see and capture with the scope. So I hope you liked it, found it interesting. And Life is made easier when you can make the right call, when you can visually see a noise. So thank you for watching, and until next time, that's all.